in this lecture we are going to discuss a very important topic in our in our course which is developing the business plan we are going to start our lecture with why is business plan important Putting your ideas and information together is called making a business plan. You need to prepare the business plan because it helps you to firstly decide if you should start your business or not. Starting a business will change your life completely. Therefore, you need to make sure that you make the right decision. The business plan will help you to judge whether or not starting a business is the right decision. Secondly, organize your ideas so that you will see how to start and run your business in the best possible way. The business plan follows a standard sequence of relevant topics which will help you to visualize the road ahead. Finally, present your business plan to investors or to a lending institution, such as a bank or a microfinance institution, to obtain a loan, of course. By preparing the business plan yourself, you will be able to answer most of the questions they may ask. And this is a very, very, very important topic. Now, let us see the content of the business plan. A business plan should cover all the important aspects to be considered before starting a business. The business plan has 11 factors or 11 topics that should be covered, which are first Executive summary. Second, the business idea. Third, the marketing plan. Four, the staff. Fifth, organization and the management. Sixth, buying for your business. Seventh, greening your business. Eighth, costing. Ninth, financial planning. 10th, required startup capital, and finally, sources of startup capital. And we are going to discuss each point in detail in the following lectures, of course. Where to find information for your business plan? You can find some of the information on your own, of course, and use your own experience to do many of the estimates and calculations. But some information may be difficult to find and some estimates and calculations may be difficult to make. The following list suggests possible sources of assistance. First, business development service providers that offer different services such as management training and access to market information and access to financial information and technical training. These could be government departments or consultants or specialist projects or other non-governmental organizations. Second, industry specific associations that offer information on legislation, taxes, standards, and other industry-specific developments that might have an effect on your new business. Third, accountants, lawyers, and the business consultants can assist with some parts of your business plan, of course. Fourth, financial institutions such as banks, cooperative societies, or microfinance institutions sometimes 
give assistance to entrepreneurs who apply for a loan. Five, international organizations with special projects designed to assist entrepreneurs could help you access information. Six, yellow pages are where you can find addresses of organizations handling things like business registration, taxes, and financial requirements for small businesses. Seventh, on the internet, you can find most of the information that you will need to complete your plan. Now, we're going to begin the, our business plan with the first point, which is reinforce your business idea. When you see a business opportunity, you need to develop your thoughts into a business idea. A business idea is a short and a precise description of the basic operation of the business. So, your business idea will tell you what good or service will your business sell. Your business idea should be based on a particular skill that you have. Maybe you have experience with or have been trained in a specific line of business. Also, who is your business going to sell to? Will you only try to sell to a specific type of customer or to everyone in an area? It is important to be clear about your intended to sell to. Also, how is your business going to sell its goods or services? You can sell in many different ways, of course. A manufacturer can, for example, sell either directly to customers or to retailers. And which need will your business fulfill? Your business idea should always have the customer and the customer's needs in mind. It is important to find out what customers want when you work out your business idea. Finally, what impact will your business have on, and on the community and the natural environment? Of course, your attitude and people's view on your business will determine your success. If you exploit labor and damage the natural environment, like waste generation, water wastage, deforestation, people might avoid your business. To better understand how to develop a business plan, we are going to give examples about how entrepreneurs do, do the business plan. Well, we will start with city garbage recyclers. Prior to starting the business, John and Mary attended training course on organic farming, which was conducted by a non-governmental organization. They believe that organic farming will be taught it as the best approach to modern farming techniques. So they decided to form a partnership and start a business which is called City Garbage Recyclers. They decided to focus on producing and packaging organic manure. Now, let us look how City garbage recyclers describe their idea. They start with name of business, which of course city garbage recyclers, and the business is going to produce the following products, which is compost and manure. The customers will be small scale farmers, greenhouse farmers, landscaping businesses, hardware stores, and plant nurseries in the area. Also, the business will sell the manure by 
delivering it to hardware stores, plant greenhouses, having salespeople go from door to door, which will entail distribution. Also selling directly to customers from the business location. The business will satisfy the following needs of the customers. First, reduce the problems associated with the disposal of waste in the area. Help farm produce grow faster and provide farm produce that is more marketable. And offer a product that is environmentally friendly. Now, when you back to your business plan book, you will find the page you see to describe your business idea. After you finish describe your business idea, you should do the marketing plan. Marketing is an important part of starting and running a business. It helps you to sell your goods or services in the right way and to the right people. Marketing is the ability to identify the needs of potential customers and satisfy those needs better than your competitors in order to make a profit. And you should first conduct market research, second make a marketing plan, third you do sales estimation. Conduct market research. It's important that you should identify the needs of potential customers and find out how your future competitors have been satisfying those needs. This can be done by conducting a market research. From, from your experience and from developing your business idea, you may already know quite a lot about your market. But the more you know, the more capable you are to design a good marketing plan. Here are some examples of ways to find out more about your customers and the competitors. First, talk to potential customers. Ask them, what goods or services do they want to buy? And what do they think about your competitors? Second, observe your competitors' businesses. Find out about what goods or services do they provide and what prices do they charge? How do they attract customers? Third, ask suppliers and friends in the business. Which products do they sell the most? And what do they think about your business idea? And what do they think about your competitors' products? Fourth, read newspapers, catalogs, trade journals, and magazines to get information and ideas about new goods or services. Finally, surf the web to explore what others are doing to get information about the goods or services you want to provide, your competitors and the new trends. Now, you should know about the basic elements of market research, which are first, products. Think about and list each good or service you will sell. Second, Customers, think about the customers who want that good or service and are willing to pay for it. Write all the types of customers, of course. Third, needs and the preferences of customers. Think about and list the needs of the customer segments that the good or service may satisfy. Also, List the particular preferences that different customers may have about the good or service. 
where the customers may wish to buy it, how the customers want to buy it, and what the customers are willing to pay. For competitors, describe the important information that you have learned about your competitors, especially their competitive advantages. Fifth, gaps. Write down the gaps that you notice in the needs of customers that competitors have not fulfilled. This information is important for you to decide what you would do differently to meet the unmet needs and how you would do it. <clears throat> Back to our example, which is city garbage recyclers. So when John and Mary have completed their market research, they write down what they found in their business plan. They make a table consists of five columns, as you see. The first column represents the product, which is decomposed manure. The second column represents the customers, for example, small-scale farmers and greenhouse farmers in the area. The third column represents the needs and the preferences of customers. For example, the customers need to ensure that the product is clean and good for the soil in the long term. The fourth column represents the competitors. For example, other compost manure factories whose brands have gained a foothold in the market. The final column represents the gaps. For example, compost manure should not be expensive because it's easy to produce. Now, back to your business plan book, you will find the same table as our example. 